on those questions. They need to be future thinking. What makes someone successful here? Tell me about your promoting from within philosophy. Tell me about your philanthropic pursuits. I've read about blah, blah, blah. Right? Make them good, meaty questions about you fitting in, you succeeding, you moving forward, you contributing, not, hey, what do I get out of this deal? Not, not yet. It's not, we're not there yet. Tell them you're interested if you are. Don't leave that interview without telling them you're interested. Don't play coy. If you like the job, I'm very interested. What would next steps be? Right? Nothing wrong with that. Thank them and then establish those next steps. If the interviewer is ending the interview and not saying, you know, you'll hear from me in a week or, you know, we'll have set rounds of second interviews in two weeks, ask them, so what will next steps be? And they'll tell you. Because believe me, they have it. They know what they are, right? They just perhaps haven't thought to share it with you. So it's a perfectly legitimate question. If you need to know, walk me out. Then send a thank you note. That can be email or handwritten. No text messaging. Follow up with a phone call if you don't hear back within the guided time frame. So if they say, by next Friday, I'll have my decision on second interview and you don't hear from them, call them on Monday. But be very nice about it. You know, not starting with something like, you said you have decisions on Friday, right? That's kind of attacking a little bit, no matter what your tone, but I'm still very interested in the job. Have you made a decision on second 